I'm Kristen Childers. One of my favorite memories of Dr. Butler was when I went mountain biking with him and my husband out at Carvin's Cove. And I think he was taking advantage of the fact that it was week four on the wards and I was very out of shape and took us on this super long ride of pain and suffering. But uh, at the end of the ride, he took a log jump at like full speed and just did this gnarly wreck over the handlebars and landed on his head. And I thought, oh my God, I've killed my attending. But he pops right up and he's like, I'm fine. <laughs> but Dr. Butler, we are really gonna miss you here at the hospital. You're one of the most kind and compassionate people I know. And uh, thank you so much for all you've done. Hey, Dr. Butler. Matthew Roby here. I just want to say congratulations on making it to retirement. You, you certainly deserve it. You've been a huge influence on me, both personally and professionally, and I, I can't thank you enough for all that you've done uh, for my family and for the residency as a whole. Uh, once again, just congratulations on retirement, and I wish you all the best in this next phase of your life. Hey, Dr. Butler. I hear you're retiring. Congratulations. I can't believe it was 10 years ago that we started with you with the first DO class. Um, I just want to say thank you for everything that you did for me and for all of us. You're an awesome teacher, um, an even better person. You were super supportive and you made everything fun and I'm just very grateful for everything you did for me and Carillion. So um, I hope you have an amazing retirement and give everyone my love and give everyone a hug for me. Um, and I hope I see you on the mountain somewhere. Uh, who knew I'd end up in Vail, Colorado, uh, skiing, hanging out, doing things I love. So it's because of everything you guys did for me. So thank you again. Enjoy retirement and take care. Bye, everyone. Hi, Rick. Congratulations on your retirement. And I just wanted to say that I feel very privileged to have been one of your residents and that I feel honored as well to call you my friend. I feel like you've made a difference in the lives of so many residents and students and patients and that I appreciate so much the advice you've given me on how to manage patients and also advice in life. So again, I congratulate you on your retirement and I look forward to this new chapter in your life. Bye. Hi, Dr. Butler. I'm sure you don't remember, but when we were interns, you had had each of us rotate through with you in the outpatient clinic. We were seeing a patient with advanced heart failure who required many, many different medications, and he was having trouble identifying which ones he should take and how he should take them. And I was having a lot of difficulty explaining what the medications were and what they were used for. And finally, I just simply said to him, you need to take this medication. It's a good one. It's good for you. And at the end of the session, you gave me feedback by saying how much you enjoyed and how much you liked watching me spend some time with him and try to explain those medications to him. And you specifically took that one sentence, this is a good medication, and you commented on how much that meant and how much that meant to the patient. And that stuck with me. And that's a phrase that I use nearly every day to the patients that I take care of. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me personally. You've been a mentor, a teacher, an advocate for me but more importantly, what you've done for the Carillion residents. You've always stood up for the residents and I think you've made such a big difference in the lives of so many young doctors, and young physicians. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. I wish you nothing but the best in your retirement and moving forward into the next journey of your career. Thank you again. Uh, sorry, can't be with you, but uh, congratulations. I can't believe you're retiring at such a young age. Uh, you'll definitely have to share that secret with me. I wanted to tell you I appreciate everything you did through residency. I think I was maybe in the second class or third class of the duly accredited program. And uh, just what a tremendous influence you were. I appreciate all the good advice that you offered, uh, career counseling, and everything uh, has worked out good so far. And I really appreciate all of that wanted to uh, really tell you thanks for everything and I wish you the best on uh, future endeavors. Uh, you should have a lot to look forward to at such a young age. I really appreciate how caring you are and such a great program director. 
Hey, Dr. Butler, it's Christy Fagg. I heard that you were retiring, and I wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for everything that you taught me uh, so I could, in turn, teach the residents here at Montgomery. Okay, show me what you guys have learned with OMT. I feel the release. <laughs> Is it working? Do you feel the release? <laughs> Say uncle. Say uncle. <laughs> This colonic release <laughs> will help you with your bowels. Okay. I haven't pooped in forever. I hope this works. Oh. 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 Uh oh. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, okay. Yep. It just happened. <laughs> In all seriousness, I did want to thank you for taking a chance on me and giving me the opportunity to learn from you. And thank you for being such a great mentor for me. And um, I hope you have a happy retirement and you get to do lots of fun things. Please stay in touch. Butler, congratulations on your retirement. I just wanted to say thank you for being such a great attending, for always being so encouraging and supportive. We really appreciate all of your help with Journal Club. And thank you for being such a great listener. Congratulations again. Hey, Rick. This is Dick Wardrop from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I heard you were retiring, and I'm very happy for you and your family. Um, I just want to say thank you for all that you did for me. You were one of my first contacts at Carillion. And through thick and thin, you were there with me. We had some laughs. And I wish you the best, and God bless you and your family. Um, you do have to come and ride bikes with me at least some point, because we never did that. Take care of yourself. Um, I want to thank him for teaching me to be a critical thinker and I know that his support and devotion to graduate medical education um, is greatly going to be missed. Um, I, I am very proud to uh, say that I have trained uh, under you and thankful um, for the time in which you've recruited me here to start my career at Carillion and I think that's uh, very important and I'm, I'm truly thankful. Um, I want to wish you and your family um, the most happy time and uh, God bless um, this next chapter and phase in your life. And Rick, welcome to the ranks of the retired. I'm, I found in this retirement world the things that have brought me the most joy have included travel, family, and um, significant service, meaningful service. Given all the talents and abilities that you have, I'm sure that you will have great joy in your retirement. Thank you again for being such a mentor to me, such an example to all with whom you worked. My very best wishes to you on this special occasion.